Now we are here with the borrower's debt. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Tommy. Uh, I sing and play guitar. Fantastic. And you, sir? I'm Jordan. I play the banjo and sing and play the harmonica sometimes and play the guitar. Harmonica sometimes. I boast. I don't mean to boast or anything. It's, just, it's kind of a one-man band a little bit. And what do you do? I'm Callie. I play guitar and ukulele and I sing. Do you play the harmonica sometimes? I don't. He's the harmonica slayer. <laughs> he plays the flute sometimes. I do. Occasionally. One song. One song. Okay. Well, at least we're being very, very honest here. In case someone, someone's watching this is a friend of yours and like, you don't play the harmonica all the time, dude. What are you doing there? So how was it performing here at Indie Thursday night? It was amazing. It's a really cool vibe here. Uh, all the other acts are really amazing. So it's really cool to be on a lineup with like really talented musicians, you know? So That's really, really cool. cool. As an indie artist, how important is it to play venues like this out in Hollywood? It's huge, you know? You can't just go to the big venues right away. you got to start off small and, and really, you know, get the grassroots following. So how does the band exist as it functions today? How did this come together? Well, we're all kind of transplants into L.A. Yeah, all, all three of us aren't uh, L.A. natives. Uh, I'm from Rhode Island. I'm from Arkansas. I'm from New Jersey. I knew it was New Jersey! <laughs> yeah! The worst place to be from! Oh, man. And you know what's bad? I'm sorry. I hate to, uh, there, there are probably, no joke, no joke, there are probably 20 interviews I have where people go, Jersey. It was bad enough before the show, right? Like when, when Jersey Shore came out, did you just go? They're not from New Jersey. They're not from there. It doesn't matter. No one, no one knows that. It's the title, you know? Like the Sopranos, the Sopranos was like here for Jersey, okay? Yeah, we kill people, but whatever, at least you like the show. But now with Jersey Shore, I mean, my God. So basically, me and him worked at the mall together. We just became friends. What did you, where did you guys work at the mall? Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It was a surf, like a surf. It was a strip joint? I mean. Yeah. It was like a surf clothing store. Okay, cool, cool. So we became friends. We were actually friends for about six months before we actually ever played music together. We both knew each other were musicians. Put out a Craigslist ad after we became we started the group. Always Craigslist. It's always Craigslist, you know? Weird? Yeah. I would never think that. It's a beautiful invention, Craigslist. Yeah. With shades of gray. You know, it's a little... So, so the funny story is we, we found her on Craigslist and when the first time we ever met... Really? Yeah. First time we ever met up. Um, we, locked, we were supposed to meet at his apartment and we got locked out of it. So we ended up trying her out... Uh, in like a the hatchback of the, that sounds bad. So you met her on Craigslist and tried her out. You're gonna have to edit that. We jamming jamming doesn't help either. Why don't we try this again? Craigslist jamming trying her out. That's still this is beautiful music, music. Music is fine. Jesus, you wanted him on the mic, huh? Whatever it was that you want to say, we did in the hatchback of the car. I said this is going a really weird direction. We sat in the back of my car, which was a '94 Ford Escort. And we play. Good plug for all these you thinking of buying a 94 Escort. It's discontinued. You can't buy it. I'm sorry. It's very sad. Uh, and we played a song. And it was great. Nothing bad happened. We're a very so. sexual group. <laughs> Obviously. Very. So in all seriousness, you guys, that's how it came together, huh? You guys were friends and then you just met. That's, that's crazy to me. Like, I don't, I've heard of it before, but, you know, you guys are all normal. You don't seem like you kill people or have baby parts under not, your base. Not anymore. Not anymore. So we basically we have our first EP out, but that was like short writing process. Put out the album, so things are moving really fast for us, and it's really cool, you know. Um, you look like you have something to say. Oh no, I'm just uh, listening <laughs> intently. We recorded the album in his closet. Everything sounds weird when we say it, you know. We do. But don't worry, don't worry. You guys are the only ones who sound this weird. It's not normal. You should be really uncomfortable because this is very, very creepy. So proud of that. I couldn't be prouder of us. So, well, we really appreciate you guys taking your time to embarrass yourself here tonight. And, uh, That's exactly what we did. <laughs> and we, we thank you so much, guys. We enjoy hearing you tonight. And uh, thanks again. Yeah, thanks really appreciate it. Good luck out there. New Jersey. <laughs>